know what happened. Everything was working and then now nothing works. And uh, nobody could help you with this over the phone? Well, the lady was trying, but I, I couldn't get anything. It was just like this. Can I see your remote? Here, here it is. All right, let's see. You're not getting anything because you're on the wrong TV input. What did you do? I just pushed the TV input button. Whoever talked to you on the phone should have told you. Well, they didn't. I've been without TV for two days and that was all that was wrong? What button was that again? The TV input button right here. That's all it was. How do you think this customer feels? Take a few minutes and discuss how this could have been a better experience for that customer. Did the technician fix the problem? Well, he did, but how does the customer feel about the solution? The customer was as confused after he showed her what was wrong as she was when he arrived. And when the customer talks about her experience later, do you think she'll focus on how thrilled she was the problem was fixed? No, because the solution was overshadowed by the bad experience she had with the agent and her experience with the technician. Let's see how this looks when the tech takes the time to deliver with confidence. I don't know what happened. Everything was working fine and now nothing does. Well, don't worry. I'll find the problem and I'll fix it. May I have your remote? Yeah. Well, thank you. What did you do? You actually had the wrong input set on your TV. Don't worry, it's a common mistake that actually happens quite a bit. So when you have the wrong input selected, your TV isn't able to display the DirecTV receiver and is looking at another component for input. Now if there are no components connected to that input, you'll see a blue screen like you see right here. Now here's DirecTV. Tell you what, let me go ahead and show you how easy this is to fix in case it happens again. So go ahead and press this TV input button right here. Now the picture's gone again. That's right. You actually changed the input to your TV from DirecTV to another source. Now go ahead and press it again. Wait a second. Now press it again until you see this input. And there it is. Your TV actually has six inputs. That means you can have DVD players connected, VCRs, or other connected equipment, and you can watch them all on this TV by pressing this button. So when you accidentally press this button, you changed your TV's input to an input that wasn't DirecTV and got this blue screen. Oh, that is so simple. I should have figured that out. Tell you what, why don't we go ahead and press the input button and step through each input until we find DirecTV one more time. That was easy. I told you. The technician quickly identified the problem, explained it in detail, delivered the news with confidence while instilling confidence in the customer. It only took a couple of minutes to show the customer what had happened. And by going into detail, the customer had a thorough understanding of the problem and the solution. The next time this customer accidentally presses the input button, do you think she'll know what to do? You can bet she will. And how do you think this customer feels about the technician and DirecTV? It was certainly a better customer experience and instilled confidence in the technician's ability.